Vincent Pallotti was born in Rome on 21st April 1795. His father was a Roman grocer and though Vincent's teachers called him little saint, they were the first to say that he was not exactly a star student. His early challenges did not stop him to become a brilliant light for truth in the world. However, he improved his academic work, earning degrees in theology and philosophy and becoming a college professor. He was given an assistant professorship at the Sapienza University but resigned it soon after to devote himself to pastoral work. He resolved to become a priest and was ordained as priest at the age of 23. Palotti worked selflessly looking after the poor in the urban areas of the city for most of his life. He organized schools for shoemakers, tailors, coachmen, carpenters and gardeners so that they could better work at their trade as well as evening classes for young farmers and unskilled workers. In 1835, St. Vincent Pallotti founded the Society of the Catholic Apostolate, a religious community of priests and brothers known as Pallottines. He was proclaimed blessed by Pope Pius XII on 22nd January 1950. He was canonized in 1963 by Pope John XXIII. When Pallotti's body was exhumed in 1906 and 1950, examiners found his body to be incorrupt, a sign of holiness. His body is enshrined in the Church of San Salvatore in Onda in Rome, where it can be seen. Palotines are part of Union Catholic Apostolate and are present in 45 countries on six continents. Palotines are enlightening and serving the mankind by working in the field of education, health, socio-charitable cause like providing education, food, health facilities to the underprivileged sections of society. We at St. Vincent Pallotti School are following the footsteps of our patron St. Vincent Pallotti. Our motto is to enlighten all. It's education that helps the person to free himself or herself from the clutches of darkness and ignorance. Our school with the motto to enlighten all tries to imbibe in every child self-knowledge and awareness. A person with self-knowledge has light in herself and himself. Only person who has light within can enlighten others. Thus, the school in its endeavors aims at making every child a little lamp in this world who can enlighten others in turn. Not the mind, but you. Not the will, but you. Not the heart or the soul, not the aim or the goal, but you. My God, not the air, but you, not the breath, but you, not the voice or the word, nor the song that is heard, but you, my God, God in all things forevermore.
not the food or the drink, nor the thoughts that I think, but you, my God, not wealth, but you, not honor, but you, not fortune nor fame, nor an enviable name, but you. Sun or the rain, not the joy or the pain, but you, my God, not life, but you, not love, but you, not the kingdoms we dream, not our place in the scheme, but you. Forever